Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can edit or configure your thunderstorm mods in just a few steps. So this process works basically for any thunderstorm game, like Lethal Company or Content Warning, Shit is a Skyline, or basically any game right here. But in my case, I will be using Content Warning, but it's basically the same methods for any other game. So you just want to select your game. Then you can either select a profile or create a new one. Select this profile and now we need to search for the mod we want to install and configure it. So in my case I will do this one for example. And now it's important that you launch the game. So you need to do it from this button right here. Because otherwise it will it won't let you configure it. So let's Launch it once. Now that we launch it, we can just close it again. And the settings files have been created, so you can just go to edit config. And now here you will see the config files for your mod, which is self revive. And you can just click it, edit config. And here you will see all the features that you can configure. So this is different for a remote, for example. This mod that I downloaded has this configuration, which is the default key you need to press to enable or disable the auto revive feature. So you can, for example, put C or whatever you want. And the same with this. You can just put wherever you want. Okay, so now I will download this other mod called Mirix and you can see a different type of configuration file. Just click it, edit, and I just did this so you can see the different ways you can configure a mod. For example, this one has different options to enable or disable the mod on, on a specific enemies. You can set this on true or false. Then you also have this option to configure the minimum and maximum delay. So this is basically different for any mod that you want to install. But just configure it however you want. Click on save. And then you just run the game normally. And that's it. So I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.